WrestleMania night one is in the books and it sucked. Pretty much. Simple as that. I mean. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, end of review right there. I mean, I right, yep. With uh, seven matches to talk through, not many. I mean, right. Miz and Snoop Dogg kick off the show, didn't they? Well, before that, I mean, right lot... before that, nothing happened before that. Well, no, but there is a lot of people on Twitter saying it was an epic night. I personally would like to know what they were watching because I didn't see much epicness, but you know, whatever. Um, I don't watch through the uh, the new crowd uh, tinted lens. I watched through my old specs. Real wrestling, you know, <laughs> when wrestling is bloody good, and I tell you what, it certainly isn't good anymore, and it certainly wasn't good tonight. But we get introduced to some woman singing "America the Brave." Never heard of her, honestly. What happened to when what the yes? Actually... I don't know. Kelly or Just get Lily and Garcia back for God's sake. At least we know who she is, um, or get our truth to wrap it or something. Why not? People over there, what's up? I don't know. People uh, in America, what's up? I'd take Arsena. Anyway, we get um, Miz and our truth come out, and they're going. They're the hosts, so we knew about the Miz. Our truth was fucking stupid. Uh, well, they're both black, aren't they? I mean, I don't know. Um, <laughs> our truth and same thing. Actually, I think our truth and Snoop Dogg be a good wee. Aye, uh, good tag team. Uh, new tag team champs. They're going to be facing Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Um, yeah, so we got Snoop Dogg and the Miz. I didn't know Snoop Dogg was going to be here tonight, so I think this was just literally didn't. I mean, surely Snoop Dogg being the host is something you should mention, advertise, promote. But I guess not. Maybe I guess... they did. Maybe wrestling's that dead, it just didn't get to us. <laughs> well, maybe I. But you know I, what, right? To Holly, be fair, Holly, I do. Hollywood Swinging's a good song. Hollywood Swinging, down, 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 down. Benoit Swinging. <laughs> Wait, it was the machine. I mean, it does kind of remind me. Uh, listen, remember. anything that reminds me of San Andreas is pretty good. So I'll get San Andreas. I'll get Rey up. Mysterio's entrance was really good. I'll give that the thumbs up. Let's move on to. Uh, so basically, the Miz puts himself over. He says him and Snoop Dogg are alike. He, the Snoop Dogg's a recording artist, and the Miz was in. I don't know. The Miz was in some WrestleMania musical. Aye. Uh, then he says Snoop Dogg's been in over eighty movies. And the Miz has been the, the, the star of the Marine 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, that's probably when the movies went to shit, to be honest. Because the Marine one was actually not a bad movie. You'd have seen her, Robert Patrick. Can't remember anyone else, but there was a crocodile in there too. It was not a bad movie. Um, and then Orton appeared and killed it all. Orton kills everything. He's a boring bastard. Like, people, like if you think Orton's the greatest of all time, then I disagree with you. But you don't tell to think that. I don't mind Orton as a wrestler, but... Let's be honest, see any time he's been out of WWE, he's bloody killed it, not in a good way. Aye, no, no. As DDP would say, that's a bad thing. Well, actually, he said it was a good thing, but Orton in movies ain't a good thing. Anyway, kick off, Austin Fury versus John Cena. Cena comes out, he's got a bunch of kids on the ramp. Um, these kids don't seem to be doing too good, so Cena's there to cheer them up, basically. I think it was Make-A-Wish, so Cena's a lot richer now. 100 grand for each kid. I don't want to go back and count because I can't be arsed, but there must have been at least 10 kids there. I'd so. say, I think it was 12. I mean, that's a million pound. Every kid Cena touched, they got 100 grand here. If yeah, he I wonder if Cena pushed the guy out in the wheelchair. I didn't notice that. See if he touched them more than once. Do you think he gets 200? I mean, he touched them could, you, could you imagine if he's pushed them at the wheelchair? No way he sticks his hands up and does the taunt. Could you imagine when he's pushed them out, he fucking lifted the wheelchair up and threw him off the stage? <laughs> Aye, like Kane did the sack rider? Aye. How would it? Cena turns heel? Nice, yeah, Cena turns heel. Just pushes heel. the wheelchair kid after that would have been great. Imagine they all started battering Cena. Are the kids? Aye. And Cena selling for them? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, what are they doing? Those kids are beating up Big John. <laughs> big match, John. Anyway, speaking of Big Match John, didn't go too well for him. He lost. Must have been one of the shortest matches of the night. I'd say it was about eight minutes. Honestly, gets hit with a low blow. Less than that. A town down at one, two, three. I mean, we're used to seeing nothing. Remember Super Cena back in the day? Literally nothing could beat this guy. Yet, yeah, he's losing. Open the match to Austin Fury. I get it. That's Cena's place in the card. No, I don't get though, right? It's like... It's not like this match couldn't have been longer. It could have been. Maybe Cena's just done. He did look old. Maybe he hasn't got 20 minutes in him anymore. But then again, when I seen him first Roman Reigns, it was a good match. That's a year and a half ago, though. True, true. Anyway, Cena loses. Austin Fury wins. And it just felt lackluster. It's like Cena gets beaten and that's it. You don't see him again. It's like... It's almost like Cena had a private jet waiting for him. He's like, here guys, I've, I've no time. I'll go out, touch some kids, lose to Austin Fury, and I'll be on my way. I know. I'm on my way. Anyway, uh, after that we had the, the showcase match. Why this wasn't on the pre-show, I don't know. I mean, just eight people that... 
don't belong on the main card. Not because they're necessarily shit, it's just because they've done absolutely nothing. They are all shit. Who, who oh. the fuck's good in this? Sure, I, I like Chad yeah. Gable, yeah. right? I notice. But they, they, they do not belong anywhere near WrestleMania. I mean, people say Montez Ford's a future world champion. Why? Because he can do a fucking frog splash and he can jump pretty high. You say people? The Rock said it. The <laughs> Rock says right. The Rock says it. WrestleMania no, goes Hollywood. Where the fuck is Dwayne? They get his wee buddy, Kevin Hart, to do the intro. I actually like the Kevin. We didn't mention that, but I actually like Kevin Hart. Yeah, but where's The Rock? Too busy watching XFL. No, what is that? What is The Rock actually doing? He's actually watching XFL. No, what's he actually doing? XFL. It's not on the night. Ah, well. It's on at the moment. It's XFL season. So, I think he's doing that. Do you that. think The Rock's just cut all ties, or like, what's happened? Uh, uh, yeah, I, th- I think that maybe there was fallout with XFL and McMahon and Rock. I don't know. It's Triple H, not uh, I just... Uh, well, Triple H and The Rock never really liked each other anyway, so... Uh, but it's best for business, man. I don't know, but... I, I, I don't... Look, at, look, at, look at the direction WWE's going in the last, like, what, 15th. Do you really think they're doing best for business? Right, no, but I think... Uh, well, I just think Mania goes Hollywood. I the know rock. it. Bo- boring the tits off of all the fuels. Hold on, Every right? Every week, three hours of What's Raw. Better? That's best for business. The Rock is hosting Mania. I know we've done it before, right? But it's Hollywood. Or the fucking Miz. Do the math. One of these guys is straight to DVD... The other one's arguably the most famous person in the world, so you do the maths and you come back and tell me. Exactly, man. Speaking of famous people, though, wait, did we say... Right, Mont, the Street Profits won, Dave DeKeer, so let's move on to the next match. Logan Paul versus Seth Rollins. Logan Paul kind of came down in a... In a zip line. Zip line, but it wasn't quite Shawn Michaels. It was like a crap zip line. It wasn't like Shawn Michaels coming down through the ceiling, the rafters. Yeah, he started on the ramp. He started on the ramp, he got elevated up, and then he kind of just came down a wee bit. There was some big guy dressed as a bottle of Prime. We'll talk about him in a bit. Seth Rollins came out dressed in pink. The, and then the cameras cut away from him for a long time until he could get his ring gear off and it, maybe he was struggling. I don't know. I'm struggling to get f- through this uh, review. But, He's I mean, struggling. We get, the, we, get, we get the match and... Uh, we get the match and... Aye, uh, we get the match. You know, I'd say the match was actually match of the night. Was it, was it match of the night? Maybe. It probably was match the night, right? Because it didn't feature a, a heavy amount of uh, like false finishes and stuff like that. But we did get the big reveal. KSI was dressed up as the Prime Bottle. It is his WrestleMania. was down a wee debut. And I liked it. I actually thought this was entertaining. They got dragged onto the announce table. Paul, Paul splashed them. Rollins ends up winning. Um, yeah, the right guy wins. It was weird seeing KSI dressed as a bottle of Prime, but... You know what? My respect's going up for Logan Paul. I thought he was going to be one of these guys that never lost. Yeah, he's pretty much lost nearly every match. I think the only guy who beats the fucking Miz. <laughs> Everybody beats the Miz, I mean... Uh. Tiny balls, the Miz. Uh, next up... Hold on, what is the Miz's point? I mean, the guy should just fucking retire. I know. Honestly. No, how do you think Miz would actually do if he left WWE and tried to make it in Hollywood? I mean, I mean, I, I mean... The I, only reason he makes it is because he's got the back of WWE movies. That's how he makes it, he doesn't make No, it. but you know the way we're t- you know the way early in the show I talked about people that there's like only a select few people you believe could actually leave WWE and, and make a career for themselves? Is the Miz not one of them? No. No one near. So you think the Miz I mean it would help that he's got movie experience, but like he would never You think the Miz would, fails? He would, he would be an extra. So you think oh, I didn't I, I didn't think he was gonna be a top fucking man, you know what I mean? I didn't think he was getting gonna get lead roles in like, you know, massive movies, but you, so you think the Miz if he leaves WWE that's him pretty much done? No, but it's not like if he leaves WWE, like he's not gonna be like, you know, like the, the, the third villain in Fast and Furious. He's gonna be like fucking <laughs> stunt double. <laughs> I he'll be like the Is he an athletic enough to be a stunt like, double? He'll be like a deputy in a fucking uh, B level channel uh, movie. <laughs> oh, there's Mike, the Missouri in the Miz. I uh, anyway, yeah, well, straight to DVD. Mike disappear, mate. So, hi, um, why are we mentioning the Mike again? Because Pat McAfee beats him, right? That, 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 that's all it's getting. That's that's it done. George Kelty, or whatever the fuck his name is, come in. Right, anyway, right, three on three match, very sloppy, sucked. Wasn't that good. I didn't like nah, it. Nah, um, worst you know. match of the night. Easily the worst match of the night. Lita and Trish should have stayed retired. I mean, they had good careers. There was no shame in retiring at 31. I, but I, the I, thing is, right, I'll say this, they're obviously by far the oldest, but 
See, watching it, if you didn't know, you'd be like, fuck all these oh, six seasons, can't fucking wrestle. Yeah. But Lita's legs are done. No, they are. Well, you see, you look at Lita like she is bloody... Um, how, how, how long can she keep trying moonsaults? What, what, honestly, I would stop it, because one of these times she's just going to fucking land on her neck. I know. Now, but, I mean, she, I, guess, I guess it's easy enough to pull one move off, but just in terms of wrestling, she just doesn't have the legs anymore. It's weird. Her legs are gone. It's like she's got a leg transplant and replaced hers with Kevin Nash's. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like, see how slow and sluggish she moves about the ring? I mean, at least Trish, actually. I don't know if it's because Trish does, like, um, you know, fitness stuff and yoga and shit like that. And maybe Lita doesn't. Maybe Lita does fuck all. That probably has something to do with it, like, you know. But Lita, like, Lita had a lot more injuries, so. See, see what Trish does. You feel like when Trish is selling a move or when she's doing a move, she's still got a bit of spring. Yeah. In her legs. No. See, see Lita, she is, like, literally dead weight. She's, like, sandbagging every fucking move. And it's weird, because people will criticise Goldberg. Goldberg moves a lot better than Lita does. At 56. Or 58. Yeah. Whatever age is now. <laughs> anyway, like, and I'm saying this as a big Lita fan. Maybe even my favourite woman of all time, but... Give it up. No. Oh, yeah, I know. I think she's declined. I remember when she had that match with Becky Lynch. Fucking hell, she didn't seem that bad. I know. But ever, ever since she's came back this last run, it's like, not good. Not good. And obviously the team that went here are the, the three, like, stars. I mean, what's the point of damage? Should damage control just retire? Or not retire, but quit? Probably. Or split? They were never going to win this match, man. They were never no, what, what is the point? There's no point. And there was no heel turn. People said Trish could turn heel, but there wasn't. I mean, how, see, since they, see since they reunited, or, or, or they formed, how many matches have they won, seriously? I know they were tied champs, but... I mean, Jesus Christ. I know. Bailey's lost every big match she's been in. Literally. Right, anyway, uh, we have Rey Mysterio against Dominic. Two really good entrances. Yeah, two good entrances. But for Dominic's point of view, it's like, what, did he get re-arrested again? Just to... Yeah, it was a bit weird. It was kind of like getting the Kane entrance, you know, when Kane gets uh, transported in the ambulance. I think it would have been better if he, if, he, if he kept the mask on during the match. I'm not even going to lie. Seeing he first came out, I thought it was Rey Mysterio at the piss him. Just shows you, you know, though. prison dom. Yeah. Because it did look like Ray with the mask on, but then when you seen him walking with security, he went, nah, why is Ray grew about two feet all of a sudden? Yeah. But with the mask on, they fucking they legit look the same. Ray came out, LA, uh, San Andres, tunes blasting, Snoop Dogg, good entrance, good match. Lowrider, you know Eddie Guerrero theme playing. It wasn't the greatest match I've ever seen, but... It wasn't, but I think they went for a more gimmicky match, you know, we're getting the family involved, getting um, Judgment Day and LWO involved. I think the pro this is probably the start of their feud. What well, it is like, and I can see like maybe like an I quit match or something. Yeah, maybe they'll have a rematch at Backlash or something. Who knows? Yeah, it's a an actual wrestling match, but we'll see. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right, guys. All right, Rhea Ripley defeats Charlotte Flair. Uh two big sweaty men competing for a female title. That's pretty much. I that it. sums up the, the world these days, doesn't it? Though it's all right, guys. With no with no issues with women. Get their, all their accolades hooved after them by men who enter all the power lifting, and this is no different. <laughs> oh, look, I mean, I, I think it's fair to say Charlotte is probably a, a biological female. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't, With a lot of plastic. I would not bet. Male plastic. I, I would not bet. Big she doesn't one. get for the Barbie section, she gets for the Ken section. I actually. <laughs> I, 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 would not, I would not be betting big money that Rhea Ripley is biological female. So, would you not know? No. Big money, not name money. Well, I'd, I'd say it's probably like I'd say it's about eighty twenty. Eighty twenty. Nah, I'd say she's. I'd say I'm eighty percent sure she's female, but there's about twenty. I mean, she just looks so muscular, so broad. Rhea Ripley, she she's not built like a woman. I mean, when she first debuted, like she looked like a woman. Nah, she still had the big shoulders. Like she looked better than she does now, but she still, if you if you actually look, she still had these big, massive, broad shoulders. What is it? Her build height's like five eight. She's fucking bigger than that. She's like 5'11 easily. I know what I was thinking. But... Anyway, um, she wins. Like, the match wasn't bad. Riptide off the top rope. Charlotte landed on her face. Hope maybe it'll improve her. Who knows? No. Nope. Just not very attractive looking. I mean, for me, I, mean, I think that's what... That's what women's wrestling should but see, be. See, no, no, that, that is what the problem is, though, right? See, because see, now they, they want to have careers as long as the men. They're, 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 they're having to pump their face full of plastic. They can't deal with getting old. Yeah, but I think the plastic makes them look old. Yeah, I know, but they they think it won't. I mean, you look at Trish Stratus has had work done, and she she just looks old. She looks like a fucking duck. 
Now, body wise, she looks great. She looks better than. It's a duck. No, but she, Trish Stratus does. Do you not think Trish Stratus looks like a duck? Yeah. I it, showed you like a, it showed you like a side uh, side on between her and Selena Vega, and they both had work done, but obviously she's younger than her. I but see Selena Vega, right? See when she's ten years older, she's gonna look like. I, I'm not. I, I wouldn't say she looks. Like, I wouldn't say Trish looks like shit, but I think Trish would have looked better. Look at Stacey Keebler, for example, Hall of Fame, definitely looked older, but she still looked natural. She still looked good. It's like Lita, right? Lita looks a lot older, but you can tell Lita has had less work done than Trish. I don't even know if Lita's had work done. Lita just looks older. I think it'll be fucking scary to see what like Charlotte Flair looks like when she's no, older. but it's like look at Madonna, right? See, it might, see Madonna, right? See that, see this plastic surgery. It might have worked for her up to a certain age. Like see, see when Madonna was like maybe 45, 50, she might have looked pretty good with the plastic surgery. But see when you get older and older and older, the plastic surgery is just gonna look worse and worse and worse. There's only so much you can do. I don't get it, man. Honestly, I don't get it, but yeah, Rhea Ripley I mean, wins. Look, look, no, look at them all, man. Charlotte Flair and Natalia. I mean, I just don't get it. Dana Brooke. I think I, I, that's probably why I prefer the NXT women's roster, to be honest, because they're all fucking young and they haven't had any plastic surgery. And the Xbox is and... turned off, guys, so let's take it on to our main event. Um, undisputed titles on the line. Uh, well, tag titles. It was alright. Too long. Too many false kickouts. We knew... We knew, we didn't, we didn't know, like, I guess the Usos could have won, but they didn't win. And Sammy said no one's won. Right, three halluva kicks. Two too many, in my opinion. Yeah. Just, yeah. The Bloodline Empire is falling apart. Like, I think out of the night one matches, this should, this was the one to end it. But again, it, night one sucked. It just felt mid-card. No, that's what it essentially is. It's like, here's your wee appetizer, but the real night's night two. I mean, I, I don't agree with these night ones and night twos. WrestleMania is supposed to feel special. It's the biggest show of the year. If you're just splitting it into two shows, it just it loses credibility. Like it, I'll, I think, I think since they started doing it, right? I'll be fair. I think actually there's been quite a lot of matches that you could look at and go, oh, they could that, that could mean a faint or whatever. See this year, man. All right, let me put it to you this way: Has the Royal Rumble not sucked since they added the female Royal Rumble? Absolutely. And it was the same with WrestleMania. No, but would you not argue though in no, recent years? No, but we, we always top it at Hell in a Cell, TLC, Money in the Bank. I know, but yes, I know, I, I, you're, see, you're see, absolutely right, see when would, they you not, would you not argue though that this this year it's like, well, there's only one match, it's the main event. Well, previous years it's kind of been... Well, I, I, I see where you're coming from, but if you actually look at what WWE's been doing with Roman Reigns, he's the main event every year. Yeah, I know, but he, even the year he was had the title threat match with Brian and Edge, he had McIntyre Lashley, and for some reason that kicked off the show. I know, but I get what you're saying. Like, like see when Taker and Styles had the Boneyard match? Fuck. Yeah, but if That's you look, a main event. If you look at when Cena was the champ, I mean, the, 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 the top, the, the baby, the number one guy always seems to main event. Yeah. yeah. That's what it fucking is. Point is, right, that this entire card just felt mid-card. Like, you had Cena, right, and... It, and he, he didn't feel like John Cena. No, he felt like an old guy that came back to... He felt like the fucking... The Massachusetts brawler. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm rating this show. I'm giving it a... I'm giving it a two. Honestly, you set up the wet fucking time. 20 to 6 for wet. I'll give it a three. 2.5 out of 10. Um... Will night two be better? It has to be. You've got the big match, the main event, you've got the... Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell, you've got the triple threat and a continental title match, you've got the women's showcase match, you've got the women's title match, and I believe there's another match that we haven't mentioned that is in there somewhere. Nah, I'm that sure. That is not really important, but Can't for some reason it's... Yeah, anyway, that's it guys. Catch you in the next one. Two and a half out of ten. Peace.